Well, good morning, everybody. Good morning to those of you in the room, those of you who are joining us online. I want to share with us that today is Sanctity of Human Life Sunday. In actuality, uh, it's actually been Sanctity of Human Life throughout the month of January. And uh, this day was first made into proclamation way back in uh, 1984, January 22nd, 1984, by President Reagan, who made it a national proclamation. And we at Fellowship, uh, we align with the thoughts from those day uh, biblically. Uh, we want to stand for those who can't stand for themselves. We wanna speak for those unable to speak. We stand for life and we want to stand with each woman who has had to make a difficult choice. And today, as we celebrate this Sunday, I've asked our high school pastor, pastor Mary Wybrew, to join us for a conversation about sanctity of human life from her point of experience. And so, welcome, Mary. Um, how can you, uh, well, why, I should say, is sanctity of human life so important to you? I had the honor of working at a Hope Center, which is a crisis pregnancy center. Um, and during that time, I would sit with women who were in really difficult situations from all walks of life, um, and they would make the choice to either carry or abort. Um, no matter what situation they were in, it was always difficult. Um, and it's just a hard situation, and it was just such an opportunity to sit with them and love on them. Um, and the beauty is that if you personally have experienced um, an abortion in your life or if you know someone, um, God has already paid the price for that with Jesus on the cross. And so there's grace and there's forgiveness. So if that's you and you want to talk to someone today, I'm available. Um, and there's also other staff members that are available. Um, but yeah, just know that you're loved and there's grace for that. Amen. Well, you have had lots of experience sitting with women through maybe some difficult choices that they've had to make. Can you tell us a story about a time when you've sat with someone who was thinking about aborting but instead chose life? Yeah, I'd love to share a story about my friend named Shauna. Um, for confidentiality reasons, that's not her real name. But Shauna was a high school senior and she came into a Hope Center with her mom and she was terrified. Abortion was her only option in her eyes and to tell her dad meant such harsh judgment um, due to his faith. And so we offered them an ultrasound to check for viability of life before they paid for the abortion. And when they came back for the ultrasound, her dad came with her. And when, they, when the ultrasound tech turned on the screen for everyone in the room to see what was going on, um, her dad just started to weep. Shauna's father was just tore up and he just pointed at the screen and he said, that's my grandchild. The cool thing was a couple years later, I was at the doctor's office and this little girl was running towards me and I looked up to see the parent behind the child and it was Shauna. Um, <laughs> in that ultrasound room, um, Shauna's father spoke up for life. He saved his grandchild. His daughter still had to make the choice, but he spoke up for life and stood for life. Yeah, amen, it's a beautiful example. Yeah, you can applaud that. It's good, yeah, it's a beautiful example for us to remember to do the same, to stand up uh, for life and remember that we're image bearers um, and to stand up for life indeed. So Sanctity of Human Life Sunday, we remember it today, but it goes beyond today. What are some things that we can do to stand in our conviction and actually our call to stand for life? Yeah, the greatest thing we can all do is pray. Pray for every woman in this situation, married, unmarried, um, no matter what her situation is, pray for her. Pray for the doctors and nurses that she will interact with and pray that they would know the gospel um, and just the goodness of Jesus. The second thing we can do is we can get involved. Um, a Hope Center is a Christ-centered um, center that's focused on uh, transforming people's lives with um, focusing on sexual integrity and pregnancy. And they have great opportunities for individuals to volunteer, both women and men. So they're a great organization. You can also donate to them. And then the last one is to love women where they are. Love and celebrate anyone that's pregnant, no matter how they got pregnant. Um, I think one of the greatest things I ever heard was to love a parent well, or a mother specifically, mm. is to love her child. Yeah. And to protect and love unborn children, we have to love the mothers. Amen. Yeah, that's good. Would you give Mary a round of applause? Thank you, Mary, for sharing with us today. Yeah, beautiful stories in that, right? And uh, I'm reminded that uh, Jesus cares for life. He cares for each and every one of us. And we have this saying from womb to tomb. He cares about life, our lives, because we're his image bearers. And so this Sunday, we remember that. And I, I challenge us and invite us to hold that conviction, not just this Sunday and this month, but 
all the days of our lives. Amen. Glory to God.